before we go, just time for a visit to the very large red chair. So, uh, who's there? Who's there? Hi. Hello. Who are you? I'm Mia. Mia. Lovely. Yeah. And uh, where are you from, Mia? I'm from Leicester. Leicester! Top of the league. <laughs> Never has a town got less. <laughs> uh, <laughs> are, are you at the show by yourself? Uh, no, I'm with some friends who are from London. Oh, so they couldn't even be bothered to cheer. <laughs> <laughs> your poor friend is in the chair going, yes, sorry, you're just going, sit in your hands. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted to do it. Well, I'm not <laughs> cheering. Are you cheering? I'm not cheering. <laughs> uh, okay. And uh, do you live here now? No, no, I'm, I'm on Easter holiday, so I'm just visiting. Oh, and what a lovely holiday destination you've chosen. <laughs> um, <laughs> for the Brexit. Uh, okay, so uh, I'll be going with your story, Mia. So I was at a university reunion um, in Baslow, which is up, up north, somewhere in a big country house. Um, we'd not seen each other in a while. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we were just having drinks, went to the pub, got a bit Larry at the pub, no pants dance, teddy bear rolls, just standard on a night out. We go back, have some more drinks. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and then me and my friend go to get some drinks in the utility room and it's winter, it's just the winter just gone, so it's really cold. And the door shuts and there's no handle on the other side of the door, so we're like, oh, this is the utility room, no drinks in here anyway. Banging on the door, banging on the door, half an hour, an hour, an hour and a half. They've all gone to bed as soon as we get to bed. We realise that we're stuck in this utility room, it's about minus three degrees, and there's a dog basket and uh, <laughs> some coats, and we've watched a bit of Bear grill, so I think we're just going <laughs> to... I mean, have to get in the dog basket with my friend's parents' coats all around us, try to make some bed and realise that you have to sort of take your clothes off to stay really warm, because it was really, really cold, Graham, it really was. <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> no one's coming, we're banging on the door, we've got no phones, there's no toilet. I really, really need a wee at this point, there's just a bowl, so, with the dog basket, you know, that... That happens. Then one thing leads to another in the, um, <laughs> in the dog basket. And he gets injured, anyway. Um, <laughs> OK, there are so many bits of this story missing. <laughs> so you're having sex in a dog basket. <laughs> I'm not. I'm absolutely not. We one just thing led to another. What else did that mean? <laughs> I just knew you'd make that in your day. And if he gets injured, there's a lot of blood everywhere going on. <laughs> <laughs> There's no dog. Pull the lever, pull the lever, Graham. I don't got to pull the lever. Those friends. Pull the lever, I like that. I love what I say here. Those people over there, you are not her friends. <laughs> yeah, no, tell that story. <laughs> tell it. Pretty good. The one, the one where a guy bleeds in a dog basket while you're having sex with him. <laughs> Is that the first time, time someone's pulled the lever on the I think the it's stops? the first time we've had yeah. Harry Curry <laughs> on the... <laughs> in the red <laughs> chair. Just like, too much, I can't. I don't know where this story's going. <laughs> now, before we go, we would just like to say a special thank you and good night to the man who inspired our red chair, the great Ronnie Corbett, who has died at the age of 85. He was always one of our favourite guests here on the show. And we just wanted to send our love and sympathy to Anne and the family.